Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday. I am 100% in shock right now. Um, we have word that the Dallas Cowboys have are, are in the process of finalizing a blockbuster trade trading Dak Prescott to the Minnesota Vikings for the number uh, 12 pick. Um, the early reports is that the Cowboys will be getting two number ones and a third round pick uh, for this. Um, what we're also told is that the team is basically tearing up the whole thing, that they are now looking for uh, trade partners for C.D. Lamb. They are trying to stockpile first-round draft picks, and that Micah Parsons, too, uh, they're interested in moving him as well. They are basically trying to get as much as they can get, uh, keep from spending as much money as possible, and the speculation is that the Joneses are trying to milk every single penny that they can from this year because that the Dallas Cowboys, this is where I am literally blown away and shocked, are looking for <sighs> new owners. I, I don't even know what to say. Uh, we all know that I've been a... Dak Prescott fan, um, people have speculated that if Dak Prescott's not here, that um, I will no longer be a fan of the Cowboys. Uh, nothing would be further from the truth. I have been a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan uh, for all of my life. Um, I'm too old to change teams, without a doubt. And um, wherever Dak goes, I will always root for Dak Prescott unless he is playing against the Dallas Cowboys. Um, ultimately... This is the fans getting what they want. They have been calling for the Cowboys to just blow it up and start all over. And um, they're okay with taking the chances of Dak Prescott not being here, even though we've had three seasons in a row of 12-5 uh, and five and that Dak Prescott has not had a full season where the Cowboys had a losing record or even a 500 record. The days of 5-11 and 11 and 8-8 eight and eight have been completely in the rearview mirror and the Cowboys have been relevant, maybe not deep in the playoffs, but they've been relevant uh, for all these years. So the people who hate Dak Prescott, well, I guess the Trey Lance era is about to begin. Uh, the amazing thing to me is um, the Cowboys moving this contract and getting the number 12 pick. Um, we're hearing that they may not be done, that they may be, trying to get all the way up into the top three, in which case that's where uh, getting rid of CeeDee Lamb could net you another uh, number one that might possibly be able to get there between uh, the number 12 pick, next year's number one, and if you get one for CeeDee Lamb, um, that would get you into the top three and completely um, change the team. But if you're going to bring in a rookie quarterback or if you're looking at uh, basically fire sailing your best parts, uh, this is a complete rebuild, so um, I, I don't even know what to say here, good people. This is completely a shock to me, um, but then again, uh, it was a shock when the Cowboys traded Herschel Walker to Minnesota, and it ended up netting us <clears throat> basically 10 players, including some guys that ended up in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, uh, having won three Super Bowls. I can't believe the Joneses would actually do this but it, it all it's all beginning to make sense now um if they are selling the franchise um 
milk it for every cent that you can. That would be a Jones thing. Um, you didn't spend money on free agents. You did the very bare minimum. And um, you didn't even pay the coaches. So I guess not extending Mike McCarthy was, you know, another $15 million that they could keep in their pocket. I, although I, I don't know how much more money they actually need with all the real estate holdings and everything else. And wow. Um, This may be the hardest, hardest video that I've ever done. This is, you have to understand that um, I have been doing YouTube really heavy since 2016 with Dak Prescott, the changing of the guard from Tony Romo to Dak Prescott. And it was that first video I did about Dak Prescott in the uh, Senior Bowl saying he would be the perfect quarterback for the Cowboys. Um, that video got this channel going, and for the last eight years, it has been an incredible ride going from a couple hundred uh, subscribers to now over 105,000 and um, it has been a roller coaster ride because you've seen the potential of Dak Prescott and you've seen some of the great things that, that we've done and, and on the flip side of that we've had these agonizing losses where we realize we're just not good enough because the Joneses and their penny pinching just don't give enough to give there. And that's where, upon all of these thousands and thousands of emotional-filled videos, to get up here on April 1st and say that Dak Prescott has been traded, I know that the haters out here who have been watching this video are like, finally, we're getting rid of that bum. And then some of the other people out there that have been saying, trade Dak, get rid of CD and Micah Parsons, blow it up have now had a heart attack because they're thinking, oh my God, they're literally going to blow it up. What have we done? We're going to suck again. Are now having a heart attack for me getting you mother humpers again on April Fool's. Every April Fool's I get you suckers. <laughs> ah! Happy April Fool's. Good people. <laughs> Peace out. Those who can do. Those who can't talk about those who can. Now, can you or can you not? Are you just want to sit?